Hey guys, boys and girls, this is Mark Goldberg with Jupiter. I'm Mark from Mark Vlogs Watches, and Jupiter is my kitty cat. If you are a long time, <laughs> he always looks mad. If you are a long time subscriber to my channel, you know Jupiter. If you are new to this channel, well, please go ahead and subscribe and you'll meet him again. This is not a dead hamster that Jupiter brought me. It is the cover to my lavalier microphone. As near as I can figure, oh, and we are gonna talk about watches, never you fear. Uh, as far as I can figure, Jupiter is approximately 18 years old. He is stone cold deaf and when he talks, which is often when he's not in my lap, if he gets down, you'll hear him yowling. Not my fault, he's deaf. He can't hear himself talk and he loves to talk. This is definitely, <laughs> definitely my spirit animal right here. Okay, let me lower this camera so that uh, you can see a little bit of the cat action. Mm, just, yeah. Well, this is, you know, guys, not a high class operation here. Okay, people, people. Uh, we have a quick fist watch check to do, and then uh, we're crooked. We have a quick fist watch check to do, and then <laughs> we're gonna talk about a viewer email that we will knock out of the way. Uh, I guess let's get to the quick fist watch check before we do anything else, and here it is. Today, people of Earth, I am wearing a Grand Seiko, a Grand Seiko Spring Drive Diver, SBG A229. Now, kind of digging this watch a little bit, which may surprise some of you because I've bagged Grand Seiko in the past, as well as me being a Rolex fanboy. Is it as good as a Rolex? I've talked about that in previous videos, so I'm going to say right here and now, no, it is not. But it is an intriguing and an interesting watch. Um, and I have a video, 24 hours on the wrist, and an unboxing video. I'll put that in the description of this video. And uh, soon I will do a month on the wrist. Okay, let's move into the meat and potatoes of this video right here, which is viewer mail from a fellow named Aaron. And Aaron says, got a very simple question, but simple questions deserve answers too. Aaron says, hey Mark, I'm a fan of both you and Archie. Well. 50% of you has good taste. The other half of you needs to be committed and put on a diet and enrolled in Alcoholics Anonymous immediately. One day at a time, buddy, you can do this. Okay, and I'm actually originally from Chicago area, Oak Park, and uh, go Cubs. And I now live in the Los Angeles area since relocating to the West Coast for the Marine Corps. Sir, thank you for your service. Your country thanks you, and that's serious. Okay, currently I own a Datejust 41 millimeters pick attached as well as one for the wife 31 millimeters and pick attached and I also own a Breitling Avenger 43 millimeter pick attached so let's take a quick peek at Aaron's collection of watches along with his wife's here commercial interruption please subscribe to my channel take a moment and do that now so we can do this again together if you've been with me for a long time thank you so much for joining my channel and remember I am the co-author of let dogs be dogs makes a fine gift for the dog lover in your life support the channel support Jupiter who's in my lap let dogs be dogs I may be in the market for a 42 millimeter polar Explorer 2 I have one of those Aaron and I'll throw a picture of mine in right here And I was wondering if you had any referrals or tips for buying one pre-owned in good condition. Thanks a lot, Aaron. Okay, so Aaron, here's the thing. I got mine off of eBay. I got mine off of eBay. It, it was naked and orphan. It did not come with box and papers, but it came from a reputable seller. And I paid $6,200 for that watch. It was so cherry, it still had some, some of the original stickers on it. So the first thing that I did was I took it over to an authorized dealer for an insurance appraisal, which meant that they would have a very close look at the watch. And being an authorized distributor of Rolex, not only are they a jeweler with a certified appraiser, but that appraiser knows Rolex quite well. And that meant that I could be assured of an authentic Rolex watch. That's important because if you are defrauded on eBay by buying a fake, you, you can return it and get eBay buyer protection but you need to act swiftly and decisively. Just like the Marine Corps, I'm sure your training will allow for this. So look, if you wanna buy from a, you know, essentially let's call it a risk-free source, then you go to the uh, used dealer market and you buy from somebody like Kenny Nguyen at Jewelers on Time, or you buy from um, 
David SW, or any one of a number of well-known used watch dealers. But you, my friend, asked how to get a pre-owned one in good condition. And what you should have asked, Aaron, is how to avoid getting double-fisted by the man. So I wanna urge you to think not only about used condition being good, but also looking for a great deal. So were I you, the first thing I would do is go to eBay, and um, I'm gonna refer you to a video that I made previously on how to do that. So that is going into the description too, but I'm gonna give you a quick recap of how to buy safely, happily, and at a good discount on eBay. So the first thing you do is you go to eBay and you put in the search term for the watch that you are looking for. And in your case, the reference number is a Rolex 116570 Polar. Okay, so the black one and the white one are gonna come up under that same reference number. But I think it's a useful exercise nonetheless for you to just put in the reference number of 116570 into the search box. The next thing that you're going to do, my friend, is you are going to look for the tab that says sold and completed items, and you're gonna flick the sold tab. At that point, you will then be looking at not only all current listings, but you will also be looking at the sold listings for everything that has sold with that description in its reference number for the last six to 12 months. And I want you to have a quick look and see what those are selling for, but I'm gonna do a little bit of research for you, buddy, and I'm gonna have a quick look for you right now. Now, I have just found one um, on eBay. I don't want to show the image or picture of this because I'm not sure about the copyright use of somebody else's photograph from eBay here on YouTube. Jeez, hey, hold still. Okay, so, <laughs> sometimes. Okay, make sure he's not smacking on my microphone here. I found one here. Let me read you the listing. And it was sold on May 29th, 2019, which is not that long after, it's just a few weeks ago. And um, the, the description was new 2015 Rolex Explorer 2 42 millimeter, 216570 polar white orange stainless steel GMT date pre-owned. And it was a full kit. I'm looking at a picture with the box, papers, card, everything. And it sold for, hang on to your horses, $6,293 which is excellent because the retail price is $8,100. So this fellow has bought a complete set for nearly $2,000 under MSRP, and that doesn't even include the tax. When you throw the sales tax or VAT that you would have paid in there, he saved about $3,000 US dollars or something along those lines. That guy did even better than me, and I thought I did pretty well. In fact, I know I did pretty well, but he did even better. So there are other ones that sold for a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars even more than that but hey now that you know that there are deals possible you should stalk ebay and keep a very close eye and um, what i like to do by the way is i like to take a look at the seller rating i want to buy from a seller who deals in rolex who deals with high-end watches i don't want a guy who's been selling tube socks for one year amassed a thousand happy customers um, and then all of a sudden finds a rolex because maybe it's fake i want a guy who knows what he's doing so um, my advice is to look around on eBay, stock it, take your time, put in offers until you can finally purchase one somewhere between $6,300 and $7,000. It's gonna take some patience. If you just want one right now, full kit, full set, well, just you know, call around to, to the, the used watch dealers. You know, Call Delray Watches, Federico. Call Watchbox, call Govberg call David South W, call Jewelers on Time. And maybe you will keep having your six or $7,000 if you invest wisely and wait. But if you would like to be sure that you are getting the best deal possible, stock the used sales on eBay, keep an eye on current listings. Earlier in this video, I gave the incorrect reference number. It's actually 216570. So guys, if you want a deal, you have to do a little work. And part of that work is being sure that you haven't been sent a fake. So in order to be sure of that, if you buy off of eBay, don't walk to the authorized dealer, run and leave your watch there. It'll cost you about a hundred bucks to get an authentication slash insurance appraisal, but I think you should go ahead and do that in order to be safe. Buying on eBay is safe if you really take the time to check out the seller and to check out the authenticity of the watch and to be sure that the watch comes to you with all the accoutrements uh, box papers, etc., hang tags, whatever was described in the pictures and in the description. You can hold the seller accountable for that even if the listing says no returns.
Now, as a seller, I think you have fewer protections, but as a buyer, you have really good eBay protections, so um, you wanna read up on their policies and make sure that you can avail yourself of that. Don't be, don't be afraid of eBay, guys. Um, okay, look, this has gone on long enough. I have a small, furry, kind of uh, annoying creature in my lap. He could use a bag of dog food if you would like to. Okay, it's cat food that he eats, but nonetheless, if you'd like to donate to the well, sorry, buddy. If you'd like to donate to the Feed Joopy Fund, well, um, you know, look in the description for the ways to do that. Okay, look, thank you so much for being with us. Aaron, thank you for your service. Best of luck with your watch. Goldberg, remember, when you get that Rolex, Aaron, wear it on the, wear it on the firing range. Wear it when you go golfing. Wear it when you shop with the wife, when you take her out to buy shoes, because you're going to have to buy her a bunch of shoes after you buy this watch. Don't baby it. Don't stick it in the safety deposit box. Wear it every day, and remember, feel the steel. This is Goldberg, peace out.